Hello everyone and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. It's been a while since this game has been released and it's been long, long overdue that I took a look at it. Um, it's, pr it's probably a very good time to have a look at it now with the first couple of DLC and big patch being released, so um, quite a nice change to the game and uh, should give a bit of a fresh face. Um, I'm going to be starting off a single player campaign. My objective for the campaign will be basically the unification of the Great Britain and the establishment of a, uh, a British Empire. Um, however, I think at least at the start, um, my goal is basically just to secure this area here and it's going to be focused on just the, the Great Britain um, establishing that and we're not going to be too focused on much else. Saying that, um, we in, the, the, in terms of how this game works, we need to get out left over here ASAP. Um, so um, we are going to be focusing on some colonial stuff uh, to begin with. So yes, unification of this and starting to send folk off this way. I'm not. I don't want. I'm not too bothered about getting uh, too much land on the mainland. That's very old medieval thinking and colonial. I want Africa, and I want. The, all of these places to be mine. I want especially this area here. I, re I really need this to be British. Um, so what we're going to end up having to do is basically I think or oh, I'm going to think we're going to have to try and ally with sort of Portugal, get ourselves allied with Portugal early on and use them to leapfrog our efforts to try and then take over like all of this place here. So that should be good. Anywho, as you could probably have guessed, we're going to be start off playing England. So we're going to go ahead and play in Iron Man mode. Uh, England, independent nation, yes. What other settings can I fiddle with? Options. Okay, bonuses, none. AI difficulty, let's shuck that up to hard. Lucky nations, keep it on historical, allow players to join. No, yeah, well, I can't do this because Iron Man. Iron Man mode, yes, accept. Okay. Um, and we're going to be Rise of the Ottomans, sort of starts, so that's going to be quite early on. And yeah, I think it's about, okay, I don't think we can depress the years anymore, yeah, that's fine. So I guess what we're going to do is go ahead and take it in, and like uh, I will be doing, I, I have been doing in my Total War Room 2, I will not make you watch the loading screens, because I think there's quite a lot of Lettuce players out there that make you watch loading bars, and it's, I, <laughs> I don't know why that happens. It's so boring, <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, you're watching a map at the moment, so that's a bit hypocritical. I'll see you soon. Oh, hello, Iron Man save. Yeah, um, the Diddles was my old. Um, I I actually did a playthrough of Scotland just a single player myself, and they ended up taking over the, more, the majority of Britain. So that was fun. But I think I'm gonna do England because you know that's I want to set up the Great Britain in the same the, the, the histor historically correct sort of thing. So. I'm going to save the game as YouTube. Yes, there we go. Start Iron Man. And yeah, that's weird. I hope it actually uh, stopped recording when I pressed it instead of <laughs> when it showed me it stopped recording. Right, so let's take a look at the nation. We have a large Scottish force on our borders up north. We have uh, two armies, large armies in the south of England. We have two large-ish armies in France. Now, I have a horrible feeling that this massive army here is going to come and take away <laughs> this army, and I don't want that to happen. I want this army to survive. So what I'm gonna do... Can I move them here? I don't think I can. Um, I'm not allied with Burgundy at the moment, so I think what I'm gonna have to try and do is get them across somehow. So. We have two ships here, we've got two fleets, it looks like we've got Blue Squadron and Royal Navy. Royal Navy is kind of a bunch of early carracks with some cogs, whereas Blue Squadron is a bunch of barks. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to call this the trans, the uh, trading, or no, uh, Merchant Navy, and have these guys. Um, report to protect trade and we're going to send them to well, I guess we'll send them to London so it's going to protect our London trade and then the Royal Navy I'm going to actually split up so I'm going to create a new unit with all of the cogs 
I'm going to call that the transport fleet. I'm pretty sure the cogs are kind of the transport vessels. So I should be able to. Oop, they're not early characters. Send you back. So I'm pretty sure these cogs are the transport vessels, if I'm not correct. So, yes, transport, transport, transport. Heavy ship. So we've got four cannons. Yeah, okay, that's fine. This unit is not going to be blue squadron. This is going to be transport fleet. Now, I wonder how many men this transport fleet can take. I don't know how many. Um, how about transports? Can't detach. Uh, I don't know. We shall see. I think because it's 14 ships, it's very simple. You can take 14 men. However, that it remains to be seen. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping I can I can extract this army before this army comes and crushes them, and then again come down here and take that army out. I think we're immediately going to send the Royal Navy. No, that's not the Royal Navy. That's transport fleet. Royal Navy, and we're going to send it to start patrolling. I'm trying to take out some of these early enemy forces. How many have got? I've got 12 heavy ships in this. That's, that's one. That's a nice fleet we've got going there. Right. No mission. Construct a grand fleet. Form alliance with Navarra. Vassalize Scotland. Let's go ahead and vassalize Scotland as our first mission. I'm going to be playing quite heavy on the navy in this let's play if I can, because basically <laughs> that's where Britain excelled. <clears throat> Once they unified this, they went, okay, we're safe here. We're, we're like, We've got a sea between us. What can we do? I don't know. Let's have a huge navy, which means no other nation on the world can bother, can like actually like touch us. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, this speed to succession, a bunch of places. You have a free advisor slot. Let's see if we can get a rank one. Um, national revolt risk is good. I'm gonna go again and get him because revolts really piss me off. Um, we have we're in debt already with our treasury, which is bad. Um, technology, what are we gonna? We can't do anything with that at the moment. The country's at war with France. Okay, what am I gonna? You know what? Immediately, I think what I'm gonna try and do is message France because literally every like France and all of her um, vassals are attacking us. So what I want to do is. I'm gonna offer. Okay, let's see if we can offer Gascon and Labour. And. Um, that's This is basically peace. So we're getting to peace. Um, I don't want Armagnac. Uh, cancel vassals. Seed provinces, revoke cores. If we can get them to revoke cores in Cal and Normandy, while we offer Gascon. And okay, fine. You know, I don't. I'm not too bothered about Cal's and Normandy. So let's offer them those two. And actually, um, where was the cores? Revoke cores. And let's get them to just revoke cores in Calais. Although they don't even have a claim on Calais. Or accordingly, that's great. We can leave that then. Um, so we'll, we'll get them to completely. We we don't really really care about this. Uh, so we're gonna offer them, uh, Chaos Normandy, Gascon and Labour. Just to I don't need this for peace. Although to be honest, we don't even need to do those two. We can just offer them, um, those places, and they're going to accept peace. And they're gonna get a bunch of aggressive expansion. So yeah, that's fine. Um, it's gonna cost them a bunch of stuff. I'll give them four prestige though, but it shouldn't do anything to us. Uh, let's see if we can. Add or remove into your offer or demand. 
I was wondering if I could see these places offer tribute, but then demand like some money to go along with it. Never mind. We'll go ahead and suggest. Oh yeah, th this is a suggestion. This is basically new in the patch where if you click on this, the game suggests an offer that the enemy is going to accept. However, I know they're going to accept this, so I'm going to send this offer. Um, I wonder if I can try and do anything else. Like, uh, nah, it's fine. Let's just send this offer because it's just. It's just them. Um, no. That's cool. So we might get attacked by Burgundy, but I doubt it because France and Burgundy will probably be at each other's throats fairly quickly after we end this war. So let's go ahead and send the offer. This should mean France is not a complete wanker. Advancement of religion. Make it legal may take a legal offence for servants and the like to read our holy bible, reserve their right for clerics and noblemen. Okay. <laughs> Seems a little backward, but if it's an advance, it's an advance, apparently. Right, trade. <coughs> We've got one in Bordeaux and one in London. That's where I want to keep it, I think, actually. Um, yes. Economy. Army maintenance is huge, fleet maintenance is pretty damn big on top of that. We just need to go ahead and get some more buildings. So, we don't know any buildings yet, we're going to have to research them. Uh, technology, so. Okay, we need this war to end so we can put all our units, things down apart from... Oh, no, and then we're going to crush Scotland, aren't we? We'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and, yeah, unpause. Nope, that's not your on pause. Space. Uh, okay, so France accepted our generous peace officer. Offer, officer, offer. Um, England will cede uh, to France. Cool. Uh, an alliance officer f offer from Connacht. Okay. Yeah, okay then, why not? Truce will expire in five years. That's not bad. Um, your troops in foreign territory in here. So we can get them to go ahead and march up here. And we can pick them up. So that's okay. There you go, France. Have some more places. I'm really not bothered. Um, our diplomat has come back. Now let's think about getting some relations going on. For instance, with Portugal. Hello. Uh, we're alliance. We're allied with them. Let's go ahead and get royal marriage. There we go. Oh, we've gained the reconquest. Ca okay. Um. No, I don't want that. And we have a royal marriage with Portugal. That's cool. Now, where's the strongest nation over here? I'm pretty sure it's Austria. Or could we maybe? They hate us. Um, they're a competing great power. Oh yes, we haven't got our rival nations yet, have we? Um, that's fine. But I would like to improve. Can we improve our relations with, relations with Spain? Because they're pretty happy with Portugal. So, Alliance offer from Genoa. Where is Genoa again? I think it's like over here somewhere. Genoa, Genoa. This is embarrassing. I should know where Genoa is. I was sure it was one of these, like an Italian nation somewhere. Um, how do I, how do I have a look? Oh, it's obviously it's up there. Right, okay, Genoa. So you're like, where? Am I just being ignorant? Savoy. Where's Genoa? Oh, right, right on the coast. Tiny little thing down here. Um, so they're offering an alliance. No, I'm sorry, you know, you're tiny. <laughs> yeah, I've got no use being allied with a tiny little nation like that. Ireland, yes, because if they get a war, I can come in and start taking some places over there, but not down here. It's too far away. Um, okay, Portugal's come back. Right, let's think about some improving some... Uh, improve relations with Spain. Or Castile, sorry. Once we improve the relations with Castile there, we're going to go ahead and kind of enter into an alliance with them as well. Royal Army, get over here and join the Army of Ireland. 
We also need to recruit the general, I think. Right, you guys can go together. Half of you can, or a small portion of you can get into this boat, take it to London. Royal Navy is off. Okay, right, we need to think about economy. Let's go ahead and drop down the fleet maintenance. Uh, we can drop down the army maintenance as well. So we're at, at least a positive. Our military leader is dead. We need to recruit a new military leader now, don't we? Oh no, we have two leaders. Richard and Henry. Okay, that's fine. A royal marriage offer from Connacht. Um, no thank you, Mr. Connacht. We don't need your royal marriage. Let's go ahead and have Richard lead this army. Get the transport fleet back over here. And get this army on board. So we're going to have two armies. We've got huge armies. I like being England. You can invest in a cardinal. I don't want to invest in the cardinal. I'm not too bothered by all this papal stuff. Let's go ahead and move my forces right up here to the north. So Scotland knows exactly what we're going to do. Uh, huh, free advisor slots. Yes, but we don't. We can't. Diplomatic rotation. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Um, better relations. That's pretty good. One monthly. It's probably good. Um, yeah, we'll get that. So they're both costing one monthly, so that's quite a lot. So we're going to have to actually invest a little bit more. So really, our maintenance is terrible at the moment. So if we want to go into a war, we'd have to put that uh, straight up. Right, so we should now have... Let's get you on the boats. And let's get the boats heading back to... I suppose we'll just take them to Kent. Um, so this army here is going to be led by Henry Percy. You lot join Henry Percy. And transport fleet, you head back to London. And the Royal Navy can be stay in London as well. In fact, actually, I'm going to send the Royal Navy to Northumberland. Because we're going to have them going up north soon and taking out the Scottish fleet. So that's my two armies there, both heading up. Do I have enough to actually... Because I gave regions away... My force limit, I've got three more than I can actually have. So let's go ahead and take two off this one. Um, I guess I'll get rid of a couple of infantry. And one off the other one. So let's get rid of you and you. Uh, disband unit. And we'll get rid of one of you. So I'm thinking... Who do I not like from here? Which which part? I guess we'll get rid of Cornwall. There we go. Bye bye. It's got two seventeen thousand man armies. We our force limit is exactly on exactly instead of being too much. The Golden Horde. Oh cool. Um, yes, defensiveness. Eh, not too bad. Anyway, army tradition is pretty good, naval tradition is nowhere near as good, so we need to actually increase that. And our force limit is almost, we've already got pretty much everything for our, our, uh, our thing there. Right, what can we do with Scotland? We can send an insult, yeah. We can... We can't declare war, because we, we don't have any diplomats to send. Oops. Hmm... Oh. There we go, he's arrived home. But we still can't do it until the 8th of September. Can we even declare war? Like, I, I don't know. We need to fabricate claims and things, and uh, it's all getting very complicated. <laughs> so, um, we need to try and save up to start getting the exploring uh, things, because uh, obviously, um, what's it called? Portugal has a bit of an advantage by having these already. Um, oh wait, no, it's Terra Incognita. I wonder if we can get there. If we ally with Portugal, then send some ships over. 
we can start getting some of these islands and then start populating stuff. But we need the uh, national idea to enable us to do that, which is over here somewhere. Maybe we need a national ide idea to get this. So how do we save up for this? This is... Uh, what is the cost? I can't remember. This is administrative. There we go. So it's going to be a while. How long? Plus four. Plus four. Plus two. Our, oh yeah, I forget. England's first king is terrible. Like, if you look at this government. Um, yeah, Henry. <laughs> zero, zero, and zero. Henry of Lancaster, you are an idiot. It's <laughs> uh, frustrating, but yeah, that's what we have to do. We have to just deal with the idiot king until we can get a new king. So obviously that does mean England starts off with a certain negative uh, lag behind all other nations in terms of technology and, and advancement, but that's just something we have to deal with. Royal Navy, what are you doing? You're patrolling. I don't want you to patrol. I want you to stay there. <laughs> Transport fleet, you're fine. And my commerce fleet should be just all over the place. Where is my commerce fleet? You're up there. You're just basically patrolling around Britain. That's fine. We don't have a naval leader, do we? No, we don't. Okay. England. Sorry, Scotland. Let's declare war. Let's declare war. We can take the capital of Lothian. Zero aggressive expansion, 200 prestige, 50% cost. They are guaranteed by France. Huh. So, France would declare war on us for that. Okay. Cool, so in Connacht has insulted us. Are they guaranteed by anyone? Uh, we need to break the alliance before we can do that. That's fine. However, let's go ahead and France. Are you at war with anyone? Truce with England. Okay, Guarantee of Scotland. Influence. Let's see if we can try and break. Now, how do, how would I do this? Covert actions. How how do we break this guarantee? I don't know. Economy rights. Sell province. Uh. <coughs> sorry. Pardon me. I really want to improve my relations with France, actually, personally, and have really good relations with the mainland. Growth of cities attracts serfs, so we have to accept this. Lose Cornwall, gain London, lose stability, increase serfdom, stability cost modifier minus 10, morale of armies minus 10. Um, the serfs belong on their turfs. Or we get that. Um... I think we're going to try and keep spread out rather than having everything lumped up into cities. Even though London is an, a bit of a, a powerful tool in our belt. You have a free advisor slot. I know I do, but I don't want to have too many. Land, force limits, modifier. That's pretty good, though. I'm getting quite... It's kind of a luck of the draw with what advisors you get. And I've been fairly lucky so far. In my other gameplays, I've had some really terrible options, so I just don't use them. Um, That's slowly going up. Money is... Slowly going up. Why have we suddenly got lots more money coming in? Plus two. That's not bad at all. Let's up this a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Plus two is a pretty good income to have at the moment. So we need to, to be honest, I really want to try and get some of this technology done so we can get some of these buildings, like the, the marketplace and the dock, to try to start bringing in some money. <coughs> but obviously with the king, that's going to take a while. Wow, I don't know why I'm coughing so much. Let's get some tea. Ah, tea. What a wonderfully British thing, even though it's not from Britain. Uh, <laughs> not originally, anyway. Speaking of that, India. Yes, we shall probably have to go and colonize you at some point. Um, yes, but first, let's keep our focus over here. I like this map. It does actually show us exactly where we're going to find things. That's a bit silly. I think this map should represent what we're seeing on the screen. <laughs> yes, people have an idea, but they don't know exactly where, and, you know, it, it adds to the immersion. Right. They're expanding their armies. By They've expanded by 3,000 men. Um, we can still beat them with one of these as long as we upped our uh, spending on our armed forces, which we can do when we come to norm, when we come to war. How's our stability? At zero, we better boost that, actually. Um, but not just now. Or exhaustion. What does it actually give? What does what does plus one stability give? I'm pretty sure it gives like kind of 
tax modifiers and stuff across. Yeah, I don't know. Colonial expansion. Colonial range is 160. <laughs> hmm. We just want Scotland. We really we need Scotland. Do we have Muscovy? Okay. Anyway, France, let's go ahead and start improving relations with them. Improve relations. There we go. How's the relations with these guys? There are 22. Would they, for instance, get... They wouldn't want to... Oh, wow. They hate us. Rivalry. Okay, so let's... We may as well stop this, because they think, we think we're a rival. So that's just going to make them not ever have anything with us. Um... Okay. Agricultural revolution. Invest in a bigger army. Gain 28 manpower. Raise taxes even higher. Let's get the taxes. We need the money. Money can always be spent on army stuff. We don't need a bigger army than we have. We have a huge army. We're going to, like, unless France declares war on us, you know, there's very limited nations here which are actually going to pose us a threat at this point. Um, he is home from Castile. That's fine. <laughs> so France is being a bit dickish, they're probably going to hate us. Um, they're competing great powers, so it's going to be hard to get them to like us lots. But we just want to get them to like us enough that they stop guaranteeing Scotland so we can just rock in and destroy them. Um, I'm tempted to go ahead and take Connacht. Do we still have the... Uh, do we still have the conquest? Okay. Um, I thought we had a conquest cast belly on them. How do how can I check that, Mister London? Where is London? There we go. Do we have recruit regiment, build ship, hire mercenaries? Don't need any of them. We're Catholic at the moment. Can't do anything here. Cause and claims. Scotland has a claim on this province. Wales. Scotland and Wales have lots of claims. That's annoying. Where's this? Cornwall, I guess. Cornwall is a claim. Yeah. Um, Monster is a claim. Connacht is a claim. Connacht is a claim on Meath. That's annoying. Right. Can we... I wish we could had a, had a conquest cast his belly on them. Ottomans. In fact, I'm just going to cease that alliance. That was a silly thing to do. So, alliance. Actions. Resolve this alliance. Uh, this will upset them, but it won't upset anyone else. There we go. That's fine. Because basically, we want Ireland, so Ireland and Scotland, I want to be mine. We're probably going to get some rebellions in Ireland, but we can deal with that. Just one of these armies, if we send it over to Ireland, can beat them. And we only need one army up to take Scotland here, so it should be okay. So let's go ahead and move the transport fleets over to Cumbria to get ready to move the forces over. Because I reckon we're going to get a fairly good, easy conquest cast belly soon. In fact, we may as well move the forces to Meath and just have them sitting there. I want to keep them in England proper in case Scotland declares war. It's not a, it's a short journey over. Right. 135. That's not bad. Um, Mainz, Württemberg. Okay, that's fine. I always forget how awesome this game is. You know, looking at it, you wouldn't think so, in terms of not knowing the series, and it's not exactly the prettiest, and it doesn't have the 3D battles that Total War does, but just, there is so much intrigue, and so much depth, and so many different things you can do, and it's, you get very attached to your nation, it's, oh, I, I, I hope that they continue expanding, and I, I really would, at some point, like to see um, some more art, if not, maybe some... Because it would be cool to see autonomous battles and actually like see the men and see all that. Because that would be cool. That would, I like. I'd like that. At the moment, it's just numbers on a screen and that. And while they've made a lot of effort to stop that, it's still that very much is the case. I'd like to see this map having a lot more to it. Like I'd like to see little towns with people. You know, I don't know. It's 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 saying too much, but it would be nice. <laughs> That's just what they've done on this map. I mean, there is a lot more life on this than ever before in their game, so I think they just need to keep expanding that idea, because it's good. It is a good one. Anywho. Oh, sorry. Portugal. 
we do anything with you at the moment? You love us. We can ask for fleet basing rights, but that's going to give us a charge because they charge for port. Uh, so if basically, if you ask for fleet fleet basing rights from most countries, um, if not all, I think they, they actually that's a cost. You get their fleet stuff, but um, oh wow, Randover against the Teutonic Order. Fair enough. That's over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, because they were fairly powerful over here. No one knew the Teutons actually had land. <coughs> yeah, there's quite a lot of land run by places, for instance, over here. I'm almost certain uh, that well, at some point, the, you know, kind of the oh yeah, at this point, the um, they would have won it, won it back. But there was a large portion of time where um, orders ran parts of the the holy 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 realm, holy kingdoms, holy holy lands. There we go. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. So. Not much I can do at the moment until I get enough to start unlocking things. It's frustrating this early game, slowly watching the bars increase. Um, I suppose what I could do is start um, show superiority. Wow, I can do that. Claim revocation, monetary reparations, concession of defeat. They've insulted us. Oh, cool. War goal. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and pause so we don't lose this Cass's belly. Get them on the ships. Get the ships over here. Drop off the army. Declare war. Take over Connox. Because I don't think they're allied with anyone. Get them back over there. Connox, you are allied with no one. This is it. Show us priority. I don't have any allies at the moment apart from Portugal and I don't really want them involved, it's okay. Invade. Oh wait, no, no, don't invade. Don't invade. Don't don't invade. Um Oops. Royal marriage offer from Tyrone. No thanks. Free advisor slot, low maintenance, yes, that's what I wanted to fix. Sorry, but armies need to uh by far I just hope they don't attack my 14,000 man army with their 2,000 man army while its morale is so small. Our fleet maintenance I'm not too worried about because I don't think Tyrone has a navy and if it does it's too small to actually do anything. Um, wow, come on, get the morale, Jesus. We need that to increase a little faster, please. Um, come on, <laughs> it shouldn't take that long. How's the morale over here doing? You're fine. Oh yeah, we were gonna join this army up, weren't we? Let's just send them over. There we go. Link the armies up. Seventeen thousand men against two. Even with low morale, this cannot be a victory. We can't lose this. This is a game where it takes a lot of things into account for battles. So, even I've seen thirty thousand man armies losing to ten thousand man armies, sort of in terms of the different things that have happened before. But if the odds are stupidly in one place's favor, then they're gonna win. You know, <laughs> that's how it works. Um, it's how it's always worked. It's cruel, but that's yeah, it's normal. We don't like. This is it. This is us winning the war. So I'm, I'm almost tempted to low, lower the maintenance immediately, but there's just no point. We've got quite a huge pool of resources to pull upon, especially when we can start building buildings, but we can't until we get the... Uh, what's it called? The technology. <laughs> oh, English, why you, why you fail me? I wish we could also declare war on these guys. Oh, hello. Subjugation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're allied with Pomerania and guaranteed by France. So we need to get that French guarantee out of the place before we can do anything. They like us quite a lot now. So let's go ahead. Can't do that. Can't do that. Form coalition against. No, they won't. Why can't we do this? Um, we are at minus thirty. We hate them. Um, they hate us because they have a hostile attitude towards us. Fair enough. Um, economy, we can send them a guess, we can, dynastic relations, relations, 
influence. Um, no. Three countries at war, low maintenance. Lollard Heresy. An heir to the throne. Oh, thank. F oh, wow. Well, that's <laughs> it's an improvement, but it's not great. <laughs> like, you're almost hoping for a thing. You know, a good one would be fives or fours even. Or even like threes across the board, but one, one, and three. That was terrible. Um, stop the lords. The lords will let them be. Stop the heretics. Um, oh dear, stability drop. We need to go ahead and boost the stability. So it's a zero. Handle the lord. Okay, we need to handle some of these. So change culture in Glamorgan to. And then harsh treatment. Lollard heretics, harsh treatment in Derby. That's all we can do to them. Okay, they declared war on Burgundy. That's fine. So they're not they're not going to join the war if we attack Scotland. So this might actually be the time to do it. What else? Um, oops, sorry. Okay, so in which case, I think maybe intelligent. Let's go ahead. Detach siege. Head back over. We've only got 15 ships. So actually. Let's leave these guys here. Now these guys come over. And then the fleet come over here. Pick them up. And we can send both armies in to crush this 10,000 man army in Lothian. And we can go ahead and have these guys drop up in Cumbria. So that's fine. And we'll have a 3,000 man army in Ireland to kind of hold Connacht for a bit. Right, so, Scotland. Let's go ahead and declare war on you. Guaranteed by France. Call willing allies, declare war. This is it. Countries at war. We're at war with Scotland and Pomerania. And we're also at war with, war with Connacht. I don't think they're going to go ahead... We have no diplomats to send at the moment because we just got war in Scotland. Right. Go to Lothian. Go to Lothian. You're going to arrive there on 29th. You're going to arrive there on the 1st. That's fine. We're going to completely and utterly destroy them. <laughs> Revolt's possible. They're not going to revolt. A lot of heretics. Um, yeah, I'm going to boost stability as well. He's arrived home from Scotland just because it, it's spending the points that we need, but you know we. It's difficult to do anything other than that. Wow, they've yeah okay that was the right decision to make. That really was the right decision to make. You guys, Ayrshire. Five. Where are they going to Ayrshire? They're going to five. Smugglers running rampant. Lose one stability. It's too expensive. Oh, I'll have to do that. Can't afford losing that stability. So we're winning all of the fights we fight against them, which is a good thing at the very least. And we have enough that we can split the armies now and still defeat them, I think. Although I think I'm actually just going to crush them overall. Uh, all of their armies. Country at war, what's possible, units suffer casualties. Alliance oftener from Brittany, okay. Fact, Brittany, will you have a royal marriage on top of that? Royal marriage. Let's go ahead and decrease the speed. Dynastic. Royal marriage. There we go. There we go, Brittany. You're going to like us now. Um, alliance from Tyrone. No offense. I'm not bothered by that. My port's duplicated. Okay, so we're winning against Scotland. So let's go ahead and split these armies up. You lot come down there. You lot. Diplomat arrived. We're just going to take over all of Scotland. Because, yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I want to take all of it away from them. Complete subjugation. Countries at war. Revolt's possible. They're still possibly revolting. Well, there's not much we can do about that, so let's go ahead and ignore that. Units suffer casualties. Free advisors. Um. Countries at war. Yes, I know we're at war. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. We did. France didn't even enter that war. So that's fine. Low maintenance. Countries at war. That's fine. So it's okay. Oh dear. I 
think that's a battle between we lost oh dear is that merchant navy oh dear let's go ahead and have you not do that and put you back into London yes that was silly silly merchant navy uh, but that was my fault really isn't it okay where are they going they're going to Ayrshire go ahead and attach a siege and crush the folk in Ayrshire you go ahead and attach a siege and head up there and then we'll need another one in Fife if we have troops in the provinces they can't recruit more as they're doing at the moment we'll attach a siege there and then we'll head where are you going Battle of Air. Why are you not? Oh, because the ships are in the way. That's very frustrating. Stay there for now. Right, you've moved out of the way. You guys detach siege. Head off to Fife. Let's siege these guys and get them out of the way. Ports are blockaded. I know, but we're gonna we're gonna win. We're always gonna win. Royal Navy against them. I suppose I could up the um, fleet maintenance to, what was it, 8, but that's a ridiculous amount that we'll be losing, so. Battle of Fife, we win the Fife. Battle of Western Isles, we win the Western Isles. There we go, so let's go ahead and attach Siege and head back. Will you get there before that ship? I doubt you will, never mind. We're going to win overall because we're now sieging all of Scotland. Why is this siege taking so long? Why is Connacht taking so long to siege? Wow. <laughs> Never mind. We'll have to wait. Okay, so we should have all of Scotland after this war, which will be nice. You're under Richard Plantagenet and you're under Hugh Percy. That's cool. So we have two main armies here. I think that's, unless, that's Orkney. Is there a single place of Scotland left? I mean, let's have a quick look in this one to see. Highlands, um, there. yeah, I think that's it. I think we have taken, after this, that's it. Bye bye Scotland, you're now English, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, it makes me sad that my first move has to do this, but I don't have much choice. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and lower this a little bit so it's not quite as painful. Raise war taxes, that's what I should have done ages ago. So now we're only losing four. Low maintenance. Where? Here. No, they're not low. I'm tempted to beat these. Oh, hello. Pomerania is turning up. Uh, ships? Do they have any men, though? Hello. They've got four men sitting there. Right. They, where are they from? Pomer really? A Pomeranian army has really just landed there? Like, <laughs> I don't... I just don't understand why they, like, they would even bother. Okay, head up to the Highlands. We'll load up those six men they have there. Or four men taken down, maybe? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Let me just head over there. Really? Just one, one thing? Siege of Connacht is over. Fantastic. Right. Let's go ahead and end that war. You. Full annexation. Um, we demand the full annexation, this peace will cost, with uh, gains, two prestige. I don't understand what that means, though. Is maybe that, like, we just take it from them? Hope so. There we go, Connacht is now English. Ish. So... Number six, head onto the ships. It's taken over the siege, that's good. 
So we've won the War of Connox. So we've have, we are now have a strip in Ireland. Connox, we need to make you a core. We need 44, but we have 43. That's fine. Next time we'll be able to do that once we've made a core. We can reduce the overexpansion. Boom. Um, we've stopped trying to improve diplomatic relations with France. That's fine. What can we do with France at the moment? Can we get anything? Not even a royal marriage. Not an alliance. Never mind. They won't attack us for a while. How about... Who can we improve with? What about Morocco? Can we improve it with them? Why do they hate us at that, to begin with? Like, why why do they hate us? They hate England. Okay, that's fair enough. Wow, we lost a battle in the North Channel. Is that because I had my transport fleet there? Yes, that's very frustrating. Alright, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> um, time to get the Royal Fleet out. Time to completely and utterly destroy Scotland. With the Royal Fleet. We did make it though. Let's combine the armies, send them to Meath, and crush it. Wow, they have even more men coming in. So that'll be seven against nine. But we've defeated their first army, so these guys are going to have to come off. 10th of January. Oh, I really do hope they keep doing this, because if that, they're going to be crushed. 3,000 men attacking a larger force when it's a... Yeah, that's going to be easy. <laughs> Come on, let's finish off these last few places. Let's get this Royal Navy out to take on these guys. Where are they going? Coast of Holland? Let's get them there as well, 16th. There we go, 30 ships against 12. We won the Battle of Meath. Siege of Fife is over. Siege of Aberdeen is over. Battle of Dogger Bank, we won. Their ships are running. Let's go crush their fleet. That's a bunch of places we have. Let's take out those ships. Once we beat Lothian, we're going to defeat this fleet. Siege of Lothian is over. We're going to defeat this fleet because they've got no hope. Um, let's send them to Ayrshire. Oh, Ayrshire is done as well. In fact, no, we can't send too many men up there, so that's just being greedy. Let's send, let's keep them, let's send them back down here. Okay, so I think that's, where are they going? Southern Norwegian Sea. They're going over there. Well, we're going to win this. Scotland, let's take out that last fleet. Are they, yeah, cool. we're, we're going to win this. There's no, they have no hope. They have absolutely no hope of winning this. Once we take the Highlands, that fleet's going to have to move out and then get crushed by my combined uh, forces up there. Siege of the Highlands is over. There the fleet moves out and gets trunched. We capture the f a ship and the rest, I think, I believe were sunk. So we can send this fleet back to London. Because I believe that's the naval threat gone. So let's go ahead and reduce the fleet maintenance. Then we'll reduce the army maintenance. In fact, I think we may have just won, yeah. So let's go ahead and do the full annexation. We, what? 110% war score. How do we get more than 100? Hmm. Wow. That's silly. Well, let's see if we can add them up anyway. Um, we just can't take Lothian. <laughs> Why can't we take Lothian? Like, that makes no sense. Huh. 
Di oh, I forgot about the diplomatic power. We only have 150. Well, what can't we take? They all cost 50, so we'd need to give up two. What do we not need? Shall we leave them Western Isles and the Highlands? And we'll keep the rest. <sighs> they can't even revoke the call. Okay, there we go. Let's just. That's all we can do. Um, the overextension is too big because of the total cost. But we can we can take it piecemeal. There we go. Let's bring the army back down. And that should be the peace offer from them. There we go. Munster and Leinster have all entered into a bit of a military. We've got no Cassus Belly on them. Okay. Uh, hello, Aragon has entered into a military coalition against us. Oh dear. Um, Friesland, military coalition. Norway, military coalition. Castile. Wow, everyone's entering into a military coalition against us. That's not fair, is it? Come on, guys, just because you're jealous. <laughs> Let's bring this army back down here. Okay, they hate us, but we can't do anything with them for a while. Tyrone? Munster have insulted us. Well, in fact, Munster have insulted us. Let's just go ahead and crush them. But if we do... Declare a war... Leinster, Aragon, Friesland, Norway, Tyrone, and Scotland. Wow. <laughs> um, so that means we'll be at war with everyone. So we need to try and, try and somehow break up that... Uh, stuff. So that's going to suck. Okay, let's go ahead and decrease... So increase the fleet, so it's like that. Decrease the army maintenance, so it's at like, well, almost three. So we're gonna get three gold per month now. Uh, to make up some of the money that's gone. Transport fleet. Let's get you and put you back in. Well, where are we gonna put them? We'll put them in me. And Ten thousand men is gonna be easy enough to take Ireland. So how do we start improving some relations? Tyrone, they're all basically just they've wanted to, we can improve relations relations with Norman. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and improve them. Because that's the only country I was actually worried about that joined that uh, particular fight. You, where are you going? Come down here. So if we look at this, Scotland's kind of just like that. <laughs> we need to start making some of these cores, but we just don't have the administrative power for it. Uh, and Connacht is busy being cored. Never mind. It's just we just don't have the increase of this. It's terrible. I wish we had one of these guys to give some more um, or some better increase in these, but we just don't. So, actually, let's go ahead and Ah, oh, we can keep them from now. I think. For now at the very least. There we go, Mr. Army. Let's keep you up there. Ready for the Scottish rebels. In fact, let's keep you up here. Hmm. Actually, that's a good point. I think I'm going to get rid of the National Revolt risk. And then... Expiring Cassius Belly on Monster. Okay, and then increase the army expenditure. So we are only plus two, but at least it's not poor. They suffer casualties. Our manpower is not great. So we need to try and up the manpower as well. Hmm. Right, that's fine. Uh, 
I think we're okay. We're quite a large fleet, a couple of fleets there. Um, what we want to do is start improving relationships with folks. So Norway's a good start, but we want to get those uh, alliances going. So we're alliance, we're allied with Brittany, and we're allied with Portugal. Who else could we make or get friends with? See, if these guys didn't hate us, because um, they they properly hate us, we could group up with them, but that's just not going to happen. Aragon, why do you dislike us? I don't get it. Why do you hate us? They just, just, they just hate us because of what we did to Scotland, probably. Never mind. We could probably improve relations with them, but I'm more worried about Norway. Besides, like... Yeah. All this is going great. So, who have they taken this place yet? Terra Incognita, Terra Incognita, Terra Incognita. Okay, now that that's happening, that's fine. Oh, we need better ruler with some better stuff going on here. That's so frustrating. <laughs> it really is. Because we really need to improve some of this stuff that's going on in the technology stuff, in the technology side. So that's very frustrating, and there's not much going on, so I'm going to go ahead and up the speed before, I think, ending the episode rather soon. See if we can increase some of these numbers. <clears throat> Just nothing's really going on. I think... Okay, sickness of king. Oh dear. Henry is fallen ill. Um, how do you handle this? More power to the nobles. Production of 50 plus 5%. Trade efficiency. Um, nobles. I'm pretty sure that has other lasting effects, but uh, we'll see. Tea is a fantastic substance. It really is. <laughs> Can last you for all sorts of stuff. Hello. Leinster's insulted us. Um, cool. So they're just trying to get us to declare war on them so they can all jump in and have fun trying to pick us apart however I'm not going to allow that to happen we're going to be stiff backed these guys don't hate us quite as much and it's because of our aggressive expansion so as long as we just take the holdings we've got, core them then most folk will be like you know what, yeah, you're not doing too bad we don't hate you too much and it should be fine hello, Aragonese English Punitive War let's go ahead and decrease that to nothing coalition as their casus belly okay Ar Aragon declared war on us this is not good so immediately we're going to go ahead and put both of these right up to the top we're then going to raise war taxes we don't have enough quite yet that's painful so I think what we're going to do is going to leave this army here and just use this to completely crush Ireland. Um, yes. Send them over to Connacht first. Um, this army. Are we at war with this guy? Are we at war with. I can't tell. Who are we at war with? Uh, we're at war with. Oh, Norway? Really? Norway's on this? Okay, Friesland. So we need to crush Leinster, Munster, and Naval. Okay, Norway. Can we try and get you out of this, for instance? Norway, here. Um, a member of a coalition can never sign a separate peace. Somehow we're going to have to win the war against the coalition, and I'm not entirely sure how. Who's Is anyone on the war on our side? Brittany and Portugal. Cool. So at least we've got a couple of folks on our side. We can crush um, Ulster, Munster, Leinster. So that's going to get these out of the way. Um, and Tyrone, which is Ulster. Um, yes, however, they want London, <laughs> I can't give them London, um, it's just, I'm just worried, what is Friesland, how big is Friesland, let's go and have a look at Friesland, where's Friesland, I can't see Friesland, Friesland, really, that tiny little province there, Okay, I'm not worried about Friesland either. What I'm worried about is Norway, because they're pretty big. We have a pretty big fleet and stuff. Um, 
and the rest. So immediately, let's find the Royal Navy. Let's take you up here. How you take out some of these guys? Because um, we're gonna have fleets coming along. Tyrone is being destroyed by Brittany. That's good. However, yeah. Oh god, this is frustrating as anything. This army is going to be my defensive army. I have a feeling, a horrible feeling, that they're going to be landing an invasion force in England. This army is my anti-Irish rebel army, so let's go ahead and just crush the rebels. So for instance, Leinster and these guys. That shouldn't be hard. Say goodbye to your men. We won. Let's crush Munster now. I'm, basically, I'm that's all I'm gonna do is just crush some of these guys and then in fact let's give you a rest first um who's I don't even know whose army that was I think it was Munsters I can't tell he's arrived home from Norway I was trying to improve diplomatic relations with you and everything um issue embargo Ugh. We just can't do anything with that for him. How about you, Aragon? Why are you so pissed off with this? Can't do anything against them in terms of this, I don't think. Um, why can't we do any of this? We're lacking proper ideas. That's frustrating. That's, uh, yeah, we can't do anything like that. That's annoying. Right, you guys crush them. Really? Supply limit. I think they're actually suffering from being having too many men in the same place. Let's take them to London where they won't suffer from that. So we won the Battle of Yorkshire. Now let's go and take out Leinster. So we're, we're, <laughs> we're gradually draining men here. They're going to Meath, are they? Oh, they're going to go up and gather out of Tyrone. We can defeat them both. Possibly. Yeah, we will we crush this lot first. There we go. Battle of Meath. We have 8,000 men against 5,000. They're Munster's army. It's frustrating because we need to crush all their big armies before we can... Expire and cast his belly on Leinster. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Let's crush these guys. Finally. Cool. Battle of Ulster. Let's go ahead and you guys detach a siege, head down and crush Munster. Then we'll detach siege and crush Leinster. Simples. I think while our fleets are around, we should be okay to hold off a lot of the enemy threats. So I want to keep my fleet here. Oh, hello. So they've got a 12,000 man army which is currently being blockaded by, uh, let's have a look, by um, Portugal. That's awesome. That really is. So if I send, I, I could send my fleet around there but I wouldn't want to because it's too far away. But Portugal's blockading the Spanish fleet. So the Spanish fleet can't actually leave port to send their 12,000 man army to war. So they're just being taken out so I need I just need to worry about Norway so let's worry about Norway Scotland has an army again <laughs> seems the government uh, that governs the least governs the best um, cool Kelly's gets benign neglect local trade power plus 10 if it moves tax it plus 10% tax modifier Local manpower. Let's get tax. Yeah, tax everything. If it moves, tax it. <laughs> that's such. Oh, that's like Britain at the moment. Where are they going? No. What are you doing? I didn't realize that now I have three thousand man army from Monster. They escaped. That's very frustrating. They're gonna get there on the second of August. We're gonna get there. Oh dear, they're gonna attack that army before I can get there. Up you go. Up you go. 17th of August. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. They're gonna win. This is bad. 
and then they're not going to get there until... I can't believe they won that, and they, and they crushed the men as well, they took out both... Wow, that makes me angry. Um, you lot, head over here. Where's my transport fleet? Where is my transport fleet? There, okay, cool. Let's get you over to Gwynedd. <sighs> That's very frustrating. <laughs> really is. Over you go, attach the fleet. You lot, let's go ahead, take the meath. And now, once we get there, we're going to crush them down there. Thirteenth of October. Oh, great. We won that. Now we can take out Munster with our two-man army. Our... Mm. I hope we win this. We shall outnumber them. There we go, we win, because we have the general and everything. Okay, so Ireland should fall. Uh, this is a frustrating war. Let's see if we can, like, blockade parts of Norway. See if that just buggers them up. 9%. Can we get them to, like, no? Um, minus 43. <laughs> They're minus 30 ones. We need a lot more reasons for them to defeat. Demand tribute. Concede defeat. We just need to defeat them more. Hello. 18,000 man army from Brittany, Portugal. Um, are completely crushing Aragon. <laughs> that's funny. That, that's cool. In fact, you know, where's Norway? Where is their army? Cause I think you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out Nor Norway's uh, place up here. Cause I can. I'm gonna start island hopping here. Up you go. Oh wait. Oh, we can't get there because well, we can go to Aberdeen, and we can get some troops over there that way. You actually, no. You stop patrolling. Right, let's take out Ireland, that's fine. Now I'll get these troops up north, so we can actually attack places like Norway. I could grab somewhere, like the Shetlands would be cool, but Orkney would be cooler. Orkney and Shetlands and then, yeah, wait what? Shetland Straits. Shetland, wow that's strange. What islands are these? Torshon, Fashionova. Then we've got Rajovic. And, oh, it'd be so good if I could get, get these because then I can island, island hop that way instead of having to island hop this way when we eventually get the national ideas. But never mind, that's fine. We can leave it as it is. God, I hate being at war. Anyway, I've forgotten to do something ages ago which I should have done now. Raise war taxes. Oof. That should decrease some of the expenses. And we could actually put this into the positive. At least it's not a negative. There we go. We're not going to lose any money from the war. It's not low. It's like 90%. Yes, I know we're at war. It's very frustrating. <laughs> My allies are more enthusiastic about this than I am. <sighs> Munster is 100% blockade. I find that funny. They're also 100% sieged. I'm gonna go blockade Leinster as well. Because I can. Why isn't Norway doing anything? Like, they declared war. I'm pretty sure they're in the war. Yeah, Norway's in the war. 
Country stability is one. Win, lose. Okay, so we lost the bearer. Wait, what? How do we lose that? Twenty thousand? Our oh, cool. No we. How do we lose twenty thousand against? I don't understand this. How can we lose twenty thousand against eight thousand? Oh wow, this is not looking good. Aragon. Austria? Who is Austria at war with? England, Britain, and Portugal. Oh dear. Why is Austria part of this? Please do not tell me because why I didn't realize Austria is part of this. Oh dear, why is Austria part of this? We can sue for peace with them. Um, concede defeat. Why did, uh, we need 10 war score to make demands. No, offer tribute. We concede defeat. There we go. Why not? Uh, transfer trade power. Why do you hate us? Does not want parts of the offer. You don't want that? Okay. Concede defeat. Um, release nations, return cores, Normandy to France, they don't really care about that, okay, revoke cores on Gascon, and don't care about that. What do you want from me? <laughs> wow. Length of war. They just they just want to win. Jesus. Why is Austria getting involved? That just sucks. That's a sucky thing to do, Austria. I could take 13,000 men down there and beat their armies up, but I just don't have the manpower for it. So I'm going to let my allies die instead. <laughs> At least we can remove these guys out of the equation. Um, oh, why did Austria have to get involved? Why are you involved? In all seriousness, why are you not involved? Like, I don't get it. Austria, concede defeat. Need at least 10 war score to make defense demands. Come on, give us some more war score. I need to just win these sieges so I can get that war score. 35, 21, 7. Okay, it's not going to be long until those sieges are ended. However, we do need to take our navy and start attacking. So, you guys. Right up here. Leinster is taken. Oh, we should win this. We changed culture and we're more than cool. There we go, win that battle. Didn't capture a ship though. Right, you. Let's head over to Munster and help siege there. So Leinster, let's take you out of the war. We can't sue for peace. But there... <laughs> that makes no sense, like Leinster should just be taken out because we've defeated them. Eight, at least we're at 8% war score now. <laughs> and also should be taken over soon. Alright, let's attach a bunch of you to transport. Transport to here. God, this is frustrating. How's the war going down here? Uh, 3,000 men from Aragon is down there. We need to go and help Brittany out. Let's go help Brittany out. Okay, so we take them out. Let's go up and take Ulster. 
We need to go help Aragon. Which I fully intend on doing. And Ulster is now over. So we can have this army retreat to Meath. There we go. So we have Ireland under control. We have 11% war score. Will Austria please bugger off out the war? That's really annoying. Why not? We have 10 war score. Our war score is at 10%. Look, it's at 11%. I don't get it. Why is... Aragon, you're the guy who started this. Stop it. Just stop it. Request. Military. Lose prestige. Money. Gain. Lose. Gain 25 administrative power. Dear, that's painful. Okay, right, we need to somehow sort this out. You guys get to, to Aragon. Get the army there. Right. You lot. Let's go over and attack them. Get them out of Brittany. There we go, Brittany. See, I'm helping you. We actually helped you in the war. Wow, I'm getting a lot of men killed. Why am I why am I losing so many men? Why am I losing so many men? Do I have a leader? Do I not have a leader in this army? I don't have a leader in this army. Oh dear, that was silly. Where is my leader? Please tell me he's not up here. Oh, I only have one leader, don't I? I only have Richard at the moment. Right, Richard. I need a new leader. I need a new military leader. A new general. Ugh. You're not too bad. Oh, I need to take him back to British lands before I can do anything. Oh, no, I don't. There we go. You got a leader now. Jesus, that's going to be painful on the manpower front because of that mistake. Portugal, my king, Portugal accepted peace with Aragon. Oh dear. So Portugal's out of the war. Damn you, Portugal, you you traitor. Oh dear. This isn't good. So Portugal's out of the war. Because of the eight thousand man army. It's eleven thousand men coming up from Austria. Oh dear. Castile and Aragon are allied? Why? <laughs> oh dear, this is not good. This is all because of Scotland. <laughs> Why? Why Scotland? Why are you being so, such complete dicks? Come on, we lost a lot of this. Battle. We won the battle. Let's head up to Morbinum and put the fleet there as well so they don't get hit. Oh, we won, an we won another fleet battle over here. Cool. Hello. Why don't you take out the Norwegian army? Norwegian fleet. Why are they... Why? Where did they come from? That's not cool. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Oh dear. So they're taking Brittany out of the war next. Before they attack me. Okay. I don't know what to do. I can defeat them. Well, no, I can't because of that. Why are there so many of them? And I need to take Austria out of the war. Listen. If I offer you... If I concede defeat... And I give you... Wow, there's going to be a lot of gold until I say yes. Uh, 23... Minus 21... I don't have that much money. They're going to say yes then. And that's it. Huh. I'm pissed off with Austria. Why would they do this to me? Why would they attack me? Guys, look at the numbers. I've got 8,000 men overall. I've got a huge fleet. Um, 
they have five, seven, and nine, thirteen, fifteen, eighteen. There was a there was a further army here somewhere, which I didn't. I can't remember how big it was. So I have ten plus eight, so that's eighteen. Ah, it's pissed me off that they wiped out the other eight, like what was it, thirteen thousand man army that I sent down here. How big, how big was it actually? It was big. I sent it down here and it just got wiped. It was thirteen thousand men I've just wiped out in Brittany. Jesus, that's painful. Let's board you on the ships. Get you over here. Um, Provence insulted us. Seriously, like, I'm not sure I can defeat these guys. I've got nowhere to land. They're sieging my places over here. Um, I have nowhere to land. I'm gonna have to do proper port assault. I picked up ten then, so I've got three more. Let's put you down here to Kent. Seven thousand men from Brittany. Where are they going? Ships all over the place. Oh, a revolt. Really? Two thousand men in Scotland. And seven thousand in Ayrshire? You are kidding me, right? Wow, this... This sucks. <laughs> it really does. Okay, so we've taken these guys out. We've got 6,000 men coming to Cox. We should be able to beat them. <sighs> Why do we immediately have m a massive hit to our... Yeah, defeat them, kill them, murder them, get them out of there. Stupid Austrians. Okay, so we slaughtered them. Let's come and rescue. Brittany. 11% war score. It's, oh wow, how are we losing that? Really? <laughs> That's horrible. We had a thousand more men. And a general. We lost our sure. That's great. That's just great. At least we have... Sparring cast belly. Thanks. Alright, that's it. With this, I think my armies are doing terrible because it's not, like, on. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's increase the army performance across the board by doing that. So we've beaten them. Let's go ahead and beat these guys as well. And we have a 4,000 man f army from Norway in Calais. Thanks, Norway. Okay, where's my 12,000 man fleet? Yeah, go to the Irish Sea and defeat that army, please. There we go. Look, we've taken out the enemy. Battle of Loire. Brittany, we saved you from a combined... Oh, dear God, no. We need to get out of there before that huge army appears. Wow, that's a massive army. Revolt in Scotland. Yay! 6,000 men, 2,000 men. This is going to be great. Um, 12 heavy against like a bunch of crappier fleets. I should win that one fine. Okay, quickly. Get in there. Attach the fleet. Let's get them round. Get them over here. 7,000 men from Norway now. Why so many? I don't want to use this army in a battle at all, ever, because... Okay, so we won that fight. Oh, wow, this war is just taking its toll. Right, I'm, you know what? Austria. I need you out of the war. <laughs> Offer tribute. Concede defeat. 
Wow, really? Uh, cool. Let's let them out the war because we took a bunch of their army away. So Austria's going to bugger off. There we go. So now that's a huge blow to these guys. Norway, you can't do it. How about Aragon? Are you going to go away? Huh. They hate us. Length of war, relative strength of alliances. Yeah, we're still going to win. I'd quite like it if you came back in now, though. Why are they not going to do it? Portuguese has a truce of Aragon. That's fair enough. Get out. Oh, stupid Aragon. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Okay. Let's send you to Kent for now. It's 5,000 men. Cool. Well, you, with your 5,000 men, head up north and take out Ayrshire. While this army regains its population. I want to halt the siege then, that siege. A diplomat has arrived. Our manpower is so poor. We need to crush some more fleets. Where's my... There we go. Let's go ahead and take out Holland, please. Wow, even more men are coming. Oh, this is annoying. 7th of March. 25th of March. When am I going to get down there? I should get down there. Hopefully I get down there and beat them before they get there. 25th, 24th. Yes, de defeat them before their army. Oh, too late. Their army's gone. I want to defeat them before their army moves. Get rid of that ship because we're halting this because we've attacked them there. There we go. We captured a ship. We forced their fleet to go away. That's good. Let's come back down here. Take out that fleet. 4,000 men now. That's not too bad. 6,000 men there. Well, that should increase to a few more soon. And we can take out Fife. You're led by Richard. You're out by John. Led by John. Oh, so across the board, we got some. Wow, we've lost so many men in this war. This is painful. <laughs> it really is. We need to start improving some relations. Straight off, let's go ahead and improve some relations with. Well, Hungary is a lot bigger than Austria. Austria, and they like us already. So you know what. I'm tempted to start improving relations with royal marriage. Yes. And they won't want to join an alliance because we're in a war. However, once we get out of the war, I think we may be able to improve. If we improve relations, I think we could. Yeah, I think this is looking good. We need to basically wait until we got an army strong enough to take out this 8,000 man army before we can do anything. Will you just get out the war already? Just give up. Oh wow, they're just going to give up. Cool. There we go. Done. Get out the war. So we get the truce. <sighs> get out of my face, Norway. Our troops can all start recruiting more men yeah so we should defeat them because of our cavalry um wow this was hella painful <laughs> jeez our manpower is so low because of all this Anywho, we really need to start coring some stuff, so let's go ahead and make a core here, make a core there, make a core there. Can't 
can't afford another one. So we're going to core both Ayrshire and Aberdeen. So that makes them happier. Um, Ulster, Leinster and Munster. We could declare war, but I'm not going to. I don't have any Castabellis and Murdered Fruits and everything. Right, Portugal. Are you pretty happy with us? You're pretty happy with us. How about Brittany? Yeah, we stuck up for them in that fight, so they're like, yeah, we stuck up for us. Well, we didn't stick up for Portugal. We stuck up for Brittany. Um, Norway. They hate us, but we're at the truce with them. Aragon. Are they actually still in, in the coalition against England? They're allied with Portugal. Huh. We need to improve relations with Austria. Why do they hate us so much? They're a rival. Why are we a rival with them? Who else are they rivals with? France, England. You know what? I think France may actually be our way forward. Oh, we're a rival to them as well. Okay, who are they rivaled with? Castile, England, Burgundy. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and have Castile as a rival. How do we set that again? It's like, uh, view your country, then rivals. Okay, so, where's Castile? I hate Aragon. And I hate Castile. C, C. So, Castile, so that's like Spain. That's them. And then, thirdly, Burgundy hates me anyway, so there we go. Now, why is France an enemy? France. You should like us more now. So, why don't we go ahead and improve relations with you? And then, Hungary. Now we're not at war. How's about we go ahead. Oh, so close. Let's go and improve our relations with you. There we go. We should form our own coalition against Aragon. We have no diplomats to send because we're currently making people like us. That's fine. How are you doing? Still recruiting men. We need to recruit some more units actually. So, recruit regiment. Why, why not? War exhaustion. Why is not why isn't all that he's doing it? Oh we need oh yeah we need the manpower, we just don't have the manpower. It's frustrating. Oh well. These guys properly hate me. Munster doesn't hate me as much though. Oh that war was very, very costly. Very costly. Look at all these broken regiments. <laughs> Oh, the manpower. We cannot afford another war, so we just need to sell ourselves so we don't. Unhappiness among the artisans. Execute the troublemakers, abolish tax. Uh, we'll lose stability, but then we'll just gain it back. Uh, we can't boost. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can't even do that. Lull the heretics, handle them. Can't do that. Wow. Um. Oh dear, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Never mind. Uh, how do we go back to stability? Um, can we handle the Scottish Patriots? <coughs> Harsh treatment. There we go. Uh, and then Connacht. Well, that, that doesn't matter because we're about to core that. Um, <coughs> we start trying to improve relations with France. That's fine. A king, our people are losing confidence, and yeah, that's fine. So France, can we do anything with you now? We're at plus thirty-three. Um, and why you'll say no? Because you you still hate us because we're a rival. Why can't we do this stuff? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the opposite for you, Aragon. I'm gonna form a coalition against you. Okay, how do we improve? How do we how do we invite people to the coalition? Um, I honestly don't know. How do we invite people to the coalition? Uh, 
We're all married, allied. We're improving relations with Aragon. How do we um, invite people to the coalition? Because that's annoying. Hmm. Never mind. Okay, firstly, we don't need a Royal Navy to be going all over the place. So, how's our money? How's our finances at the moment? Or two, that's with our army and Navy maintenance right at the top. I don't really want to fiddle with them again because I've lost too many battles because of it. Do you know what in Crimea are now at war? Hungary. How are you doing, bro? Go ahead and offer an alliance. There we go. Wow, they're rebelling. Austria. You know how you didn't like us very much. And you still don't. An alliance offer from Savoy. Where is Savoy? Savoy is pretty big, actually. Uh, who do they like? Improving relations with France, a war with Austria and Tuscany. Uh, improving relations with from Aragon. Allied with Hungary. Okay, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do that. So we've got a balance going on here. We're fair, we're strong enough because, wait, like, um, in terms of us, we are. We have a truce with a bunch of folk. We're allied with Hungary, Brittany, Portugal, and Savoy. I mean, that's that's good. That's powerful. Um, the the coalition is annoying though. I don't know how I'm gonna break that. My king Aragon has left the military coalition against us. Cool, grand. That's nice. Norway, can you leave it? Why do you hate us so? So it's our aggressive expansion they don't like. We need to end that by making stuff cores, but that's fine, our cores is gonna do that simply. We just need this <laughs> it's really frustrating because we need the technology to start. Oh, so at least this is the highest one. I went the <laughs> yeah, we need a new military. Yeah, how long do we get rid of him? Okay. Yearly inflation reduction, don't need that. How's our money doing? Plus one point three. Oh, how's the revolts? Stability. Anyway, this episode's been going on for a very long time, so I probably should stop at some point. <laughs> I was going to stop ages ago, but then another war happened. Oh, hello. A revolt in Lollard stuff. Hmm. Um, Sweden is against Novgorod. Glamorgan Rebellion, 6,000 men. Let's bring down my 8,000 men folks to, to get rid of them. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any comments, feel free to put them at the bottom of the video. And hopefully you're going to enjoy this series. Uh, it's been off to a bit of a slow start, although we do have large swathes of Scotland and Ireland now. And we've beaten like quite a few of the most powerful nations on the continent. However, that does mean we have no manpower left, although we have lots and lots of gold. So... Um, yeah, this has been Peter, and I'll see you next time.